morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I'd like to do this morning is introduce you to a new product that I've been testing for about six ish months. I actually discovered this product at an outdoor retailer in Denver this year, midsummer. And it's called the Belmont Blanket. And this is the Pathfinder edition of that blanket. So, to kind of explain the backstory to you on this, let me turn the stove off for a minute. So to kind of explain the backstory on this blanket, when I walk around shows like Outdoor Retailer, SHOT Show, and things like that, I'm always looking for new and innovative products that are either already built for the purpose that I'm looking for or something that can be adapted to a purpose for the outdoorsman or for the woodsman or for the bushcrafter. And I found this Belmont blanket um, at a booth at Outdoor Retailer, and it was originally conceptualized to be a stadium type blanket, something that you could take to a football game, to a picnic, something like that, that would have waterproof or water repelling capabilities and yet be warm if you wrapped up inside of it. And it's a multiple layered fabric. I'll show you an up close view of it. It's got a lining in it that's very soft, almost like a faux fleece type lining in it that's made of nylon. The outer shell is nylon and then it has a membrane in between the two that is waterproof to I want to say 900 microns if I remember correctly and I've got a video clip I'll put with this video where I just poured a canteen of water over this thing when it was set up like a shelter and the water just sheared off of it like a sheet of ice and so when I saw this product it was originally about a four by six product and I picked one up at the show and I started messing with it. I took it out a few times to some different camps. I took it with me down to, I took it, I actually took it with me to Sweden and slept with it on top of a reindeer hide for a couple days in temperatures around 40 ish at night. I took it down to Florida and used it over top of my hammock as basically a, a hammock tent to kind of trap heat because the temperature was getting down in the fifties there at night, very humid down there in Florida. So, you know, 50 degrees at night and 80 degrees during the day feels like a large temperature swing and it can get cold really quick. So with an under quilt and this over the top in a diamond fashion, like a tent over the top of my hammock, it kept me really, really warm. It trapped a lot of heat inside my hammock. And that combined with my Wooby kept me plenty warm. So I tested the product a little bit. And I talked to the owner of the company and we talked about making it a little bigger. I wanted something that was at least five by seven so it would be the size of an emergency space blanket. And I wanted something that could also be utilized as a tarp. So it needed to have tie outs added to the blanket. And so what we did was we added tie outs to the corners and in the center of the tarp to pull it out in diamond fashion if you wanted to use it that way. And we created a Pathfinder edition of this Beaumont blanket. And that's what I kind of wanted to show you today. And this blanket is currently set up in a configuration of a plow point or a diamond. And you could use it on its own as an emergency shelter if you needed to, or you could carry a tarp with you in some type of bivy bag, and you could use it inside a bivy or on the ground if you had to in an emergency on top of something like a trash bag. I would never recommend putting anything, even oil cloth, directly on the ground because if it sits in water long enough, it's going to soak through, even that 900 microns I believe this is, it's gonna soak water through if it's compressed on top of a puddle of water. Now, wearing it over the top of your body, it's going to shed rain, no problem. I've already tested it for that. It works great for that. So let's look at this thing for a minute. We'll set it up in a couple of different configurations and we'll talk about sleeping with it on the ground as well. Stay with me. Okay, so you can see now I've got this thing set up in a traditional, just a lean. And one thing I found was with this thing, when you use an emergency space blanket a lot of times, as a shelter like this, if you've got any slack or space in your prussics, you end up with this kind of away from the ridge line and it tends to flap in the wind a little bit. With this having extra tie outs on it, you can just put a toggle through there in lark's head fashion and keep it attached to that line and you can still move it back and forth because these will actually slide 
along the line. The other thing is with the center tie out allows you to pull it out from the back to kind of give you just a little more crown room inside and give you a little more head space when you're in there laying down. So the versatility of this blanket is that number one, it's a waterproof blanket, but number two, that it can also be used for a shelter in an emergency. So you've got you know, some type of ground pad and you've got a wool blanket. You've got this emergency blanket here that you can use to set up a quick shelter if you had to. But you can also carry this as a standalone blanket and use it as your emergency tool, especially, you know, two and a half, maybe into three seasons. Now you're gonna want more than just this blanket if it gets really cold outside, obviously. But for a two and a half to three season piece of emergency gear, it's got a lot of versatility because it can be outerwear, it can be a ground cloth, it can be a tarp, so it does a lot of things for you. Um, I think that the virtue of this is that it's very comfortable. It's a comfortable piece of kit and it's not real heavy. It's about half the weight of a wool blanket. So it's about two pounds-ish, something like that. It rolls up fairly small. You can put it around the bottom of your backpack or your haversack if you want to. But it's a very good, versatile piece of kit. Again, I've been testing it for about six months and I'm pretty happy with it. We can set it up in all the configurations that we teach at the Pathfinder School for basic shelter configurations with a tarp, we can do with this blanket as well as using it again as outerwear like you would a wool blanket or even directly on the ground on some type of a browse bed or some type of mattress that you blow up of some kind that you sleep on top of as well. Okay, so here's our system set up basically as a shelter, a lean-to. We've got the ground pad and the wool blanket on the inside, and we've got this set up in lean-to fashion. You can see that center tie-out on the back pulling out the crown of that shelter. You've got several tie-out points along the shelter as well to keep things intact and in place where you want them. Really, really good all-around system. I'll show you Real quick, I'll take this off of here and show you what the inside of this looks like. And you can see it's a really furry, fleecy nylon that's really, really comfortable against your skin. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a ground bivy, per se, for like fair weather, topless type camping where you don't have a tarp. What I've done is I've put a ground pad down on the ground and I've left it sticking out at the top. It should be tuck down in there to protect your core. And then I folded the Beaumont blanket over the top of a wool blanket, a queen size wool blanket, tucked the bottom in, and then I have staked out the back side in that center stake and staked it out. The first two loops up here overlapped. So it holds this area in place for movement, but yet you've got the whole top end to kind of roll up in and curl up in and sleep however you sleep, whether it's on your back, left side, right side, and that makes a really good ground bivy system as well. And again, the wool blanket combined with this Beaumont blanket increases the temperature rating of that wool blanket dramatically. And if you combine that with a lightweight tarp and put a lightweight tarp over you for, you know, not so fair weather conditions, you really got one heck of a sleep system at that point. Now obviously the last virtue of this blanket is that it's a blanket. So you can use this thing for outerwear if you need to, walking through the woods as an extra layer. You could use it just like any other type of blanket that you could cinch up around you and you could wear it into the woods, or you could sit around camp in this thing in the mornings when you wake up and bundle up in this thing to keep warm until you get your body core temperature straightened out. If you get cold, getting dressed, things like that. But I thought it was a good product. I tested it out. I have help the manufacturer to develop a better product for outdoor use, at least for a woodsman. It's obviously a great product already for things like it was meant for, like a stadium blanket, but with the improvement of a larger size and some tie outs and things like that, so that it can also be used as a shelter or a bedroll and things like that, makes it a more versatile product for a woodsman and outdoorsman, and that's why I decided to carry it at SRO. I appreciate your views, guys. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.